Hi, Rico here from Rico's Repair Service. Today we're troubleshooting a fuel injected engine by Kohler and uh, I have the diagnostic tool plugged into the machine. Uh, this does give you some information. It's good to have. I forgot what I paid for this. It was a while ago. Um, but I plugged in just to interface with it. I have some codes and I'm going to attempt to uh, put those codes up on the screen. But it wasn't the codes. It wasn't this. I didn't need this tool. So what happens often with a fuel injected machine, you get it in and you see the customer just put any old filter on it. Okay. Uh, it's very important. You have to have a 10 micron filter on this from coal because inside the fuel pump there's a 20 micron fuel filter in there so if you don't protect that fuel filter inside the pump it plugs up uh, so we knew this was a fuel related problem because just like a carbureted engine we took the air cleaner off hit it with a little carb spray fires right up only runs off carb spray next i had to determine what was wrong with it do we have a problem with the fuel injectors do we have so the very next step we're going to do I strongly recommend picking up this case, this service kit. Um, this has several things inside of it, including noise you can plug into the fuel injector. But the most important tool that's in there is the fuel pressure tester. Uh, so what we're going to do is just disconnect. There was a clip in here. We're going to disconnect from the fuel pump. We're going to put our pressure sensor in here. And we're going to plug this into the fuel pump. 34 pounds of pressure is ideal. That's where we want to be at. And if we're in the 20s, we know our problem is the fuel pump, which I suspect, because this is the wrong filter, so I suspect that the problem with this is going to wind up being the fuel pump. There's a filter in there. It's not serviceable. You have to replace the entire pump. Uh, then we're just simply going to turn the ignition forward. Fuel pump engaged. And we're about 24 pounds of pressure. So I now know that that fuel pump has to be replaced because this tool just told me that it had to be replaced. Uh, just keep the video short. I hope that tip helps you, and uh, good luck with your repair.